Hello guys, welcome to Starlight Rogue. It's your host Leon. I would like to say uh, it's been an incredible week. Work my ass off and I finally have something great to show you guys. It's regarding the procedural generation of the universe and I'm sure a lot of you know that this is kind of like a big deal because like this is the foundation and the groundwork of how everything will look like and nothing excites me more than to create something that's really uh, awesome to look at no matter what you're doing uh, in the universe and it would be so nice for you if um, there's a case where no matter where you look in the game it's going to be like fresh it's going to be like, fresh and exciting so i really wanted to capture that feeling and it took me a long time to get to this point um, this is like only i you know how i said i spent one week but this is a week where i actually took that time to make it so that's very very visually appealing and in terms of code it's actually very streamlined and optimized because say for example if you're uh, going back and forth from a location uh, you want the old location to remain the same in terms of what was there before like the planets uh, that kind of thing so to keep that you needed to like usually you need to keep those things in memory which would be a big problem because your memory will keep increasing so I had to find a way around that and that is using procedure generation to make it so that it's going to be maps based um, and it won't affect the memory as much so I couldn't have done it without the help of someone called Low OP from this pod, uh, he really, he really, really made my code a lot better than before, and you know, uh, it was working before, but not to the degree that I wanted to, because the memory will keep increasing, and now um, the memory hardly increases. Maybe it goes up one megabyte per little, you know, per like ten minutes or. You know maybe it goes up one megabyte per actually around five minutes so it's not that big of a deal and you can explore you know as long as you want and i don't think it'll go over the point because um a roguelike experience is supposed to be only for a short while uh just like in temple run so i don't think there will be much of a problem and I, what I really like about this is also um, all of these nebulas when they intersect with each other they look really really nice I, I'll show I'll show you an example um, when for example like a red nebula intersects with a blue one it really creates something magical and it really adds depth so for me like I pay a lot of attention to the small details and when I'm creating this game is it's not only for you guys it's actually something that I you know really want to play myself as a hardcore gamer uh, because I look at the game like as if it was a mod so um, I really just try to add things that I really want to see in the game and I just get rid of things that I don't um, so in that way I'm kind of modding in the sense and trying to get the best out of a game and little little things little details really matter to me because I am to be honest I am sort of like a perfectionist uh, and being a creative graphic designer for most of my life I I am really wary of uh, of the little intricate details, and I'm really wary of uh, you know the visual aspect. And 
what would that mean to you know really craft something that's flawless and so my philosophy in making this game is that I want to combine aspects of the games that I've um, grown up with and the games that I've known and loved and thought I could tie it into a package that is really seamless yet innovative and it's refreshing to play. Well that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed the visuals and are excited about you know what's to come. But please be sure to leave some feedback, like what would you like to see next? Would you like to see some black holes you know, that take you to different dimensions or different places in the world? Uh, supernovas, you know, that kind of thing. I don't know what supernovas will do though. Um, but it could be crazy, huh? Also, I'll be working on the more weapons and more sh spaceships to show you uh, and also more like a GTA aspect so more people police chases you know that kind of thing so it'll be cool to see and I hope you stay up to date with the development there's a gaming event coming up called RTX that I'm just aware of recently and I'll definitely be looking to attend um, yeah, that's in Sydney though but if you are also coming, just let me know and then we can probably meet. I'll be handing out like, you know, I'll be showing people the demo and handing out uh, things like, you know, the business cards and that kind of thing. So, and just talking to people, connecting with people. Um, yeah, if you're coming, hope to see you there.